part four, we are going to continue with functions and linear graphs. You will find this on page 140 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Graphs of linear functions, Y equals MX plus C, the influence of M and C. Okay, let's look at an example. On the same grid, draw the graphs of the functions whose defining equations are as follows. Y equals 2X, Y equals X, and Y equals negative 2X. Okay, so construct three tables. Use the X values negative 2, 0, 2, negative 2, 0, 2, negative 2, 0, 2. Now substitute this X values into the equation to find the Y values. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. There, y equals x. So you can basically just rewrite the x values. In this one, you will multiply it by negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. And negative 2 times 2 will be negative 4. Then plot your points. Now, in the graph y equals mx, m indicates the slope or the gradient of the line. The gradient is a measure of how steep a line is. The gradient of a line can be either positive or negative. If a line slopes up from left to right, so if you look from left to right, this line goes up, this line also goes up, then we will say the gradient is positive. For example, y equals x or y equals 2x. If a li line slopes down, so if you look at this line from left to right, it's going down. So then the gradient will be negative. For example, y equals negative 2x. Okay, let's look at this statement. From this investigation, we observe that any graph defining by the equation y equals mx plus c cuts the y-axis at c. So that value without an x will be where the graph cut the y-axis. If it's in standard form, y equals then the x value, then the value which is just a constant. For example, the point where the coordinates of 0 and c, so hinge, c is said to be the intercept on the y-axis if the equation is in standard form. It's called the y-intercept. Okay, now let's do this example. I'm going to do it with you. So if I give you this equation, the value, which is just the constant, but remember to grab the sign. Let's just redo that one. It's not nice. Grab. So the y-intercept will be negative 2. The gradient will be the value in front of x, and that will be 3. So... You can try to do this. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. So first, the y-intercept. It's the all these equations that are in standard form. So the y-intercept is the constant. So this will be positive 3. This will be negative 5. This will be positive 1. Okay, now be careful for this one. First, simplify it a little bit. So if it's 2x plus 6 over 3, this is going to be 2x over 3 plus 6 over 3. So it's 2 over 3x plus 6 divided by 3, it's 2. So what will be the y-intercept? The y-intercept will be 2. It was that 6 divided by 3. Okay. If I look at this one, what is the gradient? It's the value in front of x, so that's negative 2. Grab that sign. What is that one? It's negative 2 over 3. What is that one? It's positive 1 over 5. And the last one, let's go back there, so it will be 2 over 3. Okay. Um, what will the gradient? Is it positive? So in this case, the gradient is negative. And in this case, it's also negative. And in this case, it's positive. And in this case, it's also positive. Okay. I, let's just go through this example. So if I go through this example, 
I say construct a table of values and draw the graph of this using the x values from negative 2 to 1. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, numerical order. Now, just go and substitute that x value into the equation and calculate the y value. So I, sh I showed you there, if I substitute negative 2, I'll get negative 4. So what will I write here? Negative 4. You can see I do it there. Now I will substitute negative 1, simplify it, and I will get, if you look here, negative 1. If I substitute 0, I will get 2, and if I substitute 1, I will get 5. So from the table, find the coordinate points. So this is my first coordinate, my second, my third, and my fourth. Now I plot all the points, and I draw a straight line with a ruler. When drawing the graph, the axis must go from the smallest to the biggest numbers on the, on the table. The x-axis, so at least from negative 2 to 1. So it's negative 2 to 1, so it's just meaning it must at least have negative 2 to 1. I have a little bit more. And the y-axis, it's negative 4 and 5, so it must go from negative 4 to 5, from the smallest to the biggest. Connect the point using a ruler, not freehand. Very important, always if it's a straight line. Okay, I want again, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 6, number 2. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So draw up a table of values for each of the following equations using the integer values from negative 2 to 2. Plot the pairs of values you obtain as coordinates on a graph and connect the points with a straight line using grid paper or small blocks as I did here. Okay, so let's just start with the tables. Now, if I start with the tables, um, let's just get a pen and we get that and we get that. Okay, so I'm just going to make the tables here. It's, I'm not going to use too much values. Um, I'm going to just the next one. And I'm going to use the next one. Okay. There's my three. I will now write down the equations. So there's three equations, so I construct three tables. Okay, now let's start with this one. It's going to be y equals, let's just see if I have a pen, x plus 2. So that's x and that's y. Now you just have to have two points to, to plot or to construct a straight line, but three is always good. So use the middle value, positive. This is again x, y, negative 2, 0, 2. And the equation is y equals negative 3x plus 1. And then this one is also x, y. And this will be negative 2, 0, and 2. So y equals negative x minus 2. Okay. Now if I substitute it in this, so basically I'm just going to show you the first one. So it's negative 2, I sub plus 2. Now negative 2 plus 2, what will that be? That will be 0. If I substitute 0 plus 2, that will be 2. And 2 plus 2, that will be 4. Okay, I'm going to do the first one again for you. So it's negative 3, and then that negative 2, put it in brackets, plus 1. Negative 3 times negative 2, it's two negative signs, so it's positive 6 plus 1, and that's 7. So if it's 0, and then it's 1. So negative 3 times 2, it's negative 6 plus 1, and that is going to be negative 5. Let's just check again. So it's negative 3 times 2, so it's negative 6 plus 1, and that's going to be negative 5. Do the same. Uh, you can write the equation three times and do it, it, especially in the beginning. So this is negative, and then it's negative 2 minus 2, which will be 2 minus 2, which will be 0. And if it's 0, it will be negative 2. And if it's negative 2, ne it's negative 4. Okay. Now I'm just going to see my highest. It's negative 2 and 2, so it's not really that much. Okay. Oh, sorry. Use a ruler. Okay. There's my ruler. 
and use a ruler for this also. Um, and let's just see, I go from negative 5, so negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Okay, it seems to me it's going to be a little bit big um, for this, so let's see if I can move it up a little bit. Just having my tables there, and see if I can extend this line. Hmm. Okay, so let's just see, I want... I can extend it to this side. Um, I just want to extend it again. Okay, so let's make this negative 5. Ooh, let's just get that thing in order. So this is going to be negative 5. Negative 5. Negative 4. Negative 3. Negative 2. Negative 1. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I'm making it 7. Okay, so the x values was not the problem. So I just draw this line also. Oh, I would rather want to use white um, like the other one. So if I draw this line, let's see if I can move it a little bit up. Okay, let's just undo it. We are going to to redraw this one. There it's better. Okay, let's put the values. So this is going to be 1, 2. And all of them is just going to be up to 2, which is correct. That, that's going to be 2. And this is going to be negative 1, negative 2. This is my x-axis and this is my y. Okay, so let's start plotting it. It's negative 2 and 0. Negative 2 and 0, and then 0 and 2, and then 2 and 4, 2 and 4. And I'm, I'm going to draw that line already. So just use your ruler. And let's just write down that equation. That's going to be y equals x plus 2. Okay, let's do the next one. It's going to be negative 2. I'm going to use different colors. So it's going to be negative 2 and 7. So if I plot it, it's going to be here. And then the next one is 0 and 1. And the next one is 2 and negative 5. And if I'm going to use my ruler, I put it on that line. And I just bring it down. And the equation is going to be uh y equals negative 3x plus 1. And then my final one, and what can we make that one? We're going to also make it red. Okay, so it's negative 2 and 0. So it's going to be the same. And then 0 and negative 2, it's going to be here. And then 2 and negative 4, it's going to be here. And if I use my ruler, and I draw that line. Okay, it's going to be approximately there. Okay, and this, I can extend it, but this equation, let's just write it down. It's y equals negative x minus 2. Okay, and then they asked me, um, use graph paper, small plot, uh, obtain, it's all I do. But let's just go through this quickly. What will this value of C be? Can you see? 2. So the value of C will be 2. What is the gradient? It's in front of that value is a 1, and it's positive 1. So the gradient is positive. Can you see it's going upwards? Let's look at the blue line. So if I look at the blue line, okay, what will be the value of C? Where is it cutting the y-axis? It's cutting at 1, so the value of C is 1. Can you see? Uh, the gradient is negative. It's coming from left to right. It's coming down. And the gradient will be negative 3. The last one, let's look at the red one. Where is it cutting the y-axis? It's cutting at negative 2. So the value of C will be negative 2, not positive 2. And the gradient, it's coming down from left to right. So the gradient will be negative 1. Because what stands in front of the x? If there's nothing, a 1. So the gradient is negative 1. 
Um, I think we can just for finals write it here. So the value of C is 2. The value of N in this case will be positive 1. Here the value of C will be 1. The value of M will be negative 3. Here the value of C will be negative 2. The value of M will be negative 1.